a brief hands-on look at 15 new features in iOS 10 Beta 3. The keyboard sound from iOS 10 Beta 1, which is a more subtle, subdued sound, is now back in iOS 10 Beta 3. iOS 10 Beta 3 brings us a new lock sound as well. Listen. And iOS 10 Beta 3 brings haptic feedback when you lock your device manually. The widget view brings you a nice large clock at the top of the screen, but when you scroll, that clock goes away. But now, notice the status bar. The clock fades into view when the bit clock goes away. iOS 10 Beta 3 allows you to send files to iCloud Drive via the share sheet. So when you share, you just tap send to iCloud Drive. You can do so from Safari. You can do so from the Mail app. You can see I just saved a Mac app directly to iCloud Drive from my iPhone. The downloaded music label now reappears in iOS 10 Beta 3. You can hide or show that section and rearrange it as well. The image picker in iOS 10 Beta 3 no longer crops images to squares, which makes the images inside the picker easier to identify because they retain their normal dimensions. The rest finger to open accessibility option found under settings, general accessibility. If you scroll down here, you'll see home button. And then at the bottom, you'll see there rest finger to open. If you enable that option in iOS 10 beta three, it works just like the old iOS nine functionality. In the previous beta, this didn't work very well. So now let me show you what this does. So basically it lets you just rest your finger on a touch ID enabled device to unlock your phone. And as you might imagine, this works really well with raise to unlock. No need to press the home button. When you 3D touch on an app store app, it'll now say share followed by the name of the app. There's a new Siri app support panel and Siri's preferences, and this is for upcoming third-party apps that will support Siri functionality in the future. When searching for music in the stock music app, you'll now notice that your library appears first when performing searches, and then the Apple Music panel appears next. Previously, that was reversed. When adding a playlist in Apple Music, you now subscribe to that playlist, basically just an updating of the language, same functionality. Although the videos still aren't playable inside the health app, you'll notice here, see not playable, you will notice some new text tags below the video placeholders. You'll now see a now typing indicator for GIF images when someone's working on sending one to you. And for all you HomeKit users, there's now a hub section in the Home app settings. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at 15 new features found in iOS 10 beta 3. Obviously the amount of new features is going to continue to dwindle a bit as we get closer to the final release. In the meantime, stay tuned to 9to5Mac for all the latest details.